Hi everyone. Almond and I are very excited to be able to visit with you today, even if it is virtually. We have greatly missed our therapy dog visits, especially to the university. But we know that because of the pandemic, for everyone's safety, it's more important that we stay at home. But we're very lucky that there's people at the university that have made it possible for us to do these virtual visits. Almond and I have been in the St. John Ambulance Therapy Dog Program since January of 2017. And the university has always been one of our favorite places to visit. Almond always loves being passed around from student to student and getting lots of hugs and petting. It's always a great place to visit. Almond is a Shih Tzu Lasso Apso. She was eight years old just this last March, so a month ago. When I got her as a pup, I was principal at that time at Yellowgrass School, and I was fortunate enough to be able to take her to work the odd Friday. Well, really nobody could say anything because I was the principal. She basically got to wander the whole school, kindergarten to grade 12. Sometimes didn't even know which classroom she was in. One day I still remember one of my teachers, high school English teacher, sent me a, a text with a picture of her in her assignment out folder on her desk. So I knew then where she was at. I taught special needs students at that time and she was awesome with them. They absolutely loved when Almond came to school. So I knew then when I retired I was pretty sure that she would make a good therapy dog. And I definitely have been right. It's, it's been awesome, both for her and for myself. Right now, I think she's really wondering why we're just hanging out on the couch here. Whenever I get my St. John Ambulance shirt on and she has her bandana on, she knows that we should be going to visit. She says she's even looking out the window right now like, are we going or what? Well, Almond, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we're not able to actually go visit people. Now, I, don't, I know that you don't actually know, but we are visiting virtually right now. Well, what are we going to do then instead of just hanging out here on the couch? Well, what would you like to do on it? Well, could we at least go outside and get some fresh air? Well, that would be a great idea. I know we've already had a walk today, but maybe we could do one of my other favorite activities. Oh. You would like to go for a bike ride, wouldn't you? 
Nod your head yes. Well, let's maybe head outside then and we'll show everybody how we go for a bike ride. A few years ago, I got a what's called a buddy rider for my bike, and it's been awesome because then I do get to take my buddy, Almond, with me when I'm going for a bike ride. And yes, it's nice hanging out on the couch, but during this time of self-isolation, it is absolutely invigorating to get outside in the sunshine and just makes both of us feel so much better. When I put Almond into the Buddy Rider, just like when we get into a vehicle, we have to be strapped in and careful not to tip Almond out in the meantime. So I try to uh, strap her in yeah. securely here so that she won't fall out as we're touring about. <laughs> yes, she absolutely loves going for bike rides. You can see how relaxed she is. I'm just going to let my videographer zoom in on Almond here and let you enjoy her cute little face. Of course, I'm a little biased, but during this time of social distancing. We try to stay mostly in my neighborhood here. It's quite quiet and usually there aren't a whole lot of people around. It's fairly, e fairly easy for us to be able to keep our distance and still have a great bike ride at the same time. Of course, this is the easy way out for her. She just gets to sit. But in a day, we probably go for at least two or three walks as well. So she puts in a lot of miles walking, or kilometers walking. And we both get a good amount of exercise in a day combined between bike riding and walking. There's a comment that Alma needs dog goggles. <laughs> well, yesterday when we went, or last night I guess it was, after supper we went for a bike ride when it was quite windy. As we know in Saskatchewan, it's usually gale force winds. So as we were going, her ears were pretty much right back but no so i don't know if they they probably do make dog goggles i i don't know that ten i think you can cruise people want to see you are there any questions or anything before I show you how we actually go for a bike ride? You're getting lots of thumbs up and hearts. <laughs> I think people are eagerly waiting for you to cruise on your bike. All right. Well, just like she's strapped in safely, 
I, of course, need to uh, exercise safety as well. Put on my helmet here. Oh, someone asked, does Almond let you know when she's ready to stop or will she ride all day? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, she has never wanted to get out, but I haven't actually gone probably longer than an hour bike ride. But I think she's pretty content, unless she had to go to the bathroom. She'd ride along with me as long as I had the energy to keep riding. All right, let's see you two ride your bike. <laughs> All right. And by the way, thanks to my daughter, Caitlin, for videoing us today. I'll go for a short ride and then maybe just uh, check back and see if there's any questions then. She likes to just feel the breeze. Pretty content. Quite a good invention, this buddy rider. So as you can see, she really does love going for a bike ride. <laughs> she wants to keep going. Do I have any? Yeah. Someone asked if she barks when she sees other pups along the way, and I think that was a good example, that a dog just walked by and she didn't bark. Yeah. We have a few dogs barking here right now, but it's not bothering her, which is kind of typical of your therapy dog personality that they're supposed to have. Not that she's always an angel, she isn't, <laughs> but she pretends to be. Well, I'll zoom off into the distance. Caitlin will uh, follow me for a bit and then 